Okay, team. Yesterday, we cleared the ground for the new hard court that we're building. And today, we're going to finish the job. And when it's finished, the surface will need to be perfectly flat. Sounds like a job for me. That's right, Rolly. You're going to be doing lots of rolling today. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 What are you doing, Bob? We're building a hard court, Sappy, so you can play games like basketball on it. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Can we watch? We're late for lunch now, and you know I hate to be late. Oh, but I want to see how it's made. You know that I really want to be a builder one day. If you come back at the end of the day, Sappy, I'll tell you all about it. Oh, wow. Thanks, Rolly. I can't wait. Me too. Yeah. Me. All of you? Okay, then. Awesome. Come on, guys. Betsy's waiting. Bye. Bye. Well, if Rolly's going to have anything to speak about, we'd better get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can. Rockets yet, Rowley? No, I don't need to practice. But you might forget what you're going to say in front of all those people. I won't forget anything. All the same, would you like to hear my golden rules for speaking in front of people? No thanks, Scoop. Honestly, it's only the rockets. I'll be fine. Okay, if you're sure. That's good. The first layer of gravel is looking nice and flat. Rowley? You can take a break while Muck and Scoop unload the next lot. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Oh, hi there, Rolly. Hi, Miss Sky. The Rockets told me about your speech. It sounds kind of interesting, so I thought I'd come along and listen too. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Uh, no. If you're really interested. Oh, and when I told Mr. Bentley, he said he might pop along as well. I expect he'll probably come along with the mayor. What? See you later. I suppose that's all right. You okay, Rolly? Well, no, actually. There are loads more people coming to hear my talk to the Rockets. Huh? Could you tell me your golden rules for making speeches after all, Scoop? Sure. Rule one is... Scoop, could you bring over the rakes, please? No problem. I better go. But what about the golden rules? This is the final layer of gravel, Bob. Great. Time for Rolly to do some rolling. Rolly? Where is he? He's over there, look. On the soccer field. Oh, yeah. I'll go and get him. Then, for stage two of building the hard court, I rolled a layer of gravel really flat. Or is that stage three? I think I've done stage two already. Oh, now I'm in a muddle. Where was I, Gull? Rolly! What are you doing all the way over here? I'm practicing my speech, Bob. But when I try, I imagine all the people looking at me, and I forget what I'm going to say. Don't worry, Rolly. All you have to do is relax, and you'll remember everything we've done. You'll be fine. Come on. I need you to roll the final layer of gravel. OK, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Rolly. Oh, hello, Muck. Hey, are you worried about your speech? Me? No, I'm very relaxed. Right, because Chef Daddy, May Moon, and Carl Parker are coming. What? Well, on the way here, I bumped into them, and I told them all about it, and they're very excited. So am I. Oh, no. That's too many people. I'll get nervous and forget what I'm supposed to say. I really need Scoop's golden rules now. Scoop! Hi, Rolly. Listen, there are loads more people coming to hear my speech. I really need to know your golden rules. OK, then. So, rule one is always speak loudly, but don't speak too loudly! <gasps> Okay. Rule two, speak slowly, but don't speak too slowly. Oh, I get. 
get it? Keep going. The asphalt is ready for Roly to roll, Bob. Great work. Next, we need to put up the basketball hoops. Uh, but they're still back at the yard. I'll get Scoop onto it. Thanks, Wendy. And finally, golden rule number 17. I didn't know there were going to be so many golden rules, Scoop. I'm not sure I can remember them all. And this rule is the most important one of all. It's Scoop. Huh? Could you go back to the yard and get the basketball hoops? Sure thing, Wendy. I'll tell you when I get back. What? Roly, you can start rolling the asphalt now. OK. Yes, will do, Wendy. The first thing we did to build the hard court was dig, no, rake, no, uh, oh no, I've forgotten. Hi, everybody. Scoop, please tell me your final golden rule. Oh, yes. So, the final golden rule. This is very important. This is the rule you must remember. Here it is. Never, ever, ever. Oh, look, there's Betsy. Hi, Betsy! Scoop! Never, ever, ever what? No, Betsy must be here with the rockets already. But I really need to practice my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Spring City Sports Field. My name is... Oh, oh I'm in such a muddle. And I don't know the final golden rule. Oh, no! Uh-oh. No! The hoops! Now what have I done? Rolly, what's going on? I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Rolly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Rolly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets, and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech too. Oh no, not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking, rolling, and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. was packed down, we moved on to stage four, the asphalt. Um, um. Which Bob and Wendy spread out using rakes. And I, uh, rolled nice and flat, like this. In stage five, Bob and Wendy painted the lines which mark out the court. Then, finally, they put up two new basketball hoops. And that is the end of my speech. Sappy, but I only remembered what to say because Bob was giving me hand signals. But I only gave you two signals. You did all the rest yourself. Really? Did I? Wow! Maybe I'm better at talking in front of people than I thought. Rolly, I haven't told you my final golden rule. Okay, so what is it? It's, hmm, it's never listen to any of Scoop's golden rules. <laughs> all right, all right.
now, everyone. Today, we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me. Roller coming through. <sighs> oh, what? Sorry, Rolly. <laughs> As I was saying, the car drives in here. The mainframe moves over the car. The brushes spin around to give it a wash, and then... Beep, beep. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> Sorry. I missed a spot. Then, the clean car will exit the car wash here and drive off. Oh, it sounds like great fun. May I have a turn of the car wash? I don't think so, Muck. You're much too big for it. That's right, Lofty. The car wash is just for cars and vans. Sorry, I've got to roll behind you. Ready for more tarmac rolling? Yes, please, Muck. Okay. I finished! Hooray! Mm, no, no, I missed a spot. Hmm. Roly really likes to do his jobs perfectly, doesn't he? Sometimes he likes to do them a bit too perfectly. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Rolly's still rolling. It's just that my electric power and water supply are both off. I can't even serve petrol. Okay, everyone. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Yay! Okay. Now, we're behind schedule, so we'll need to make up time. Wendy, Leo, and Lofty, our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Okay. Yes, Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Bob, should I roll the tarmac one more time? Uh, thank you, Rolly, but no. We've got to get going, so can we... Oh, now what? Hi, Philip. Good morning, Curtis. Curtis, aren't you open yet? I'm afraid we're a bit behind, Mia Madison. Uh, but Philip is scheduled to be the first car to drive through the car wash. Isn't that right, Philip? I do believe that I have that privilege. See? It's in the diary. We won't be too long. Can you come back later? Come back later? But that would make us late for the beekeepers' conference. And if we're late for the beekeepers' conference, we'll be late for the big truck driver's lunch. And if we're late for the big truck driver's lunch... <laughs> we'll come back shortly. Drive on, Philip. Yes, Mom. At last, one automatic car wash coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Now that's what I call a proper car wash. Can I open my garage now? We just have to test it, Curtis. The green triangle is for go, the red square is for stop, and the blue circle is for set. That's so you can reset the car wash back to the beginning, isn't it, Wendy? You're right, Lofty. It is. You can also set it to do a test run, which is what I'm doing now. Curtis, would you start it for us? I'd be honoured to, Bob. How exciting! Here's the first rinse. Oh, that's brilliant! All working well. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. It's like shampoo for cars. And here's the final rinse. Yeah! Fantastic! Thanks, everyone. Now I just need to switch my new gas pumps on and I can open for business. Everybody wait! 
I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. <laughs> Why, Rolly? I might have missed a spot. And there might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Oh, dear. We wouldn't want that. They might get up inside the mainframe. And that would break it. Break the car wash? All right, all right. Tell you what, Rolly, why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely, and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Leo? You got it, Bob. Not too close, Muck. OK, green is for go. And see some loose tarmac. Where? There. Little bits of tarmac next to the drain. I'll just roll them flat. No, Rolly. Not while it's running. I won't be a moment. Rolly, come back. Oh. Whoa. I better reverse. <gasps> Rolly, watch out. Stop. Oh, oh no. no. Go forward, Rolly. Forward. No. Don't worry, Rolly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? I it's my fault. I didn't listen. Leo said not to enter when it was running, but I was too busy rolling, and I didn't think. Now I've ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Is there anything we can do, Bob? Of course there is. Let's get Rolly out of that mainframe first. I can back out, Bob. Slowly, Rolly, slowly. Let's have a look. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. I think Two-Ton left us some spares. I'll take a look. Good. And we've got to do something about that water. I'll stop it! Well, that's one way of doing it. Thank you, Rolly. Okay, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Looks a lot better, but will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. Hooray! As good as new. Now, let's get your new gas pumps working, Curtis. We're in a hurry, Curtis. We'll drive straight through if that's all right. How exciting! We're your very first customers. <gasps> but they haven't closed their windows. Mayor Madison, your windows! Yes, they're electric. Oh, that's bit. not supposed to happen. Uh oh, press the blue button. That'll reset it, Wendy. Oh. No. Oh. 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 No. No. <laughs> well, looking on the bright side, at least Philip is clean. Sparkling, thank you, sir. Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Oh. <laughs> Bob, should I roll the tarmac one more time? No! no. <sighs> Bob! 
Bob, that was wonderful. Hello, Rolly. I love hearing you play your saxophone. I'm not that good. Well, I think you're terrific. Well, thank you, Rolly. This afternoon, the Spring City Band is playing a special summer concert. Everyone's going to be there. And the band said I could join in. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see you playing in front of all those people. But first, we have work to do. Morning, all. So what's the jump up? We're all ready to roll. Well, before this afternoon's concert, we need to repair the bandstand. It's looking a bit scruffy and run down. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Sorry I'm late. <sighs> what you want me to do today, Bob? Hi, Leo. I'd like you to stay here and tidy up the storage sheds, please. We've been so busy working lately that the yard's looking a bit messy. Okay, shouldn't take too long. Now then, team, let's go! Wait, 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 wait! What? what? Ouch! Look out! What is it, Rolly? You forgot your saxophone! Thank you, Rolly. Good morning, everyone. Oh, the bandstand looks magnificent, Bob. Good job. No problem. While the paint's drying, I think we ought to rehearse down here on the grass. Fabulous. Okay, get ready. And... <laughs> That's where my other sock got to. And... Oh, I could listen to the lovely music all day. Good, everyone. Well done. Bravo! 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 I think it's time for you all to return to the yard and help Leo with the tidying up. Okay, Bob. Let's go. Bye. See you later, Bob. Bye. Oh. Um, Rolly. Can't I stay a bit longer? Well, there's not. But I like hearing you practice. Yes, but... Luncheon is served. Tuna, spinach, and banana sandwiches. Oh, right. Excellent. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Jump right in. Coming. See you later. Hmm. What is Leo doing in there? What are you doing? You can make some really crazy sounds with this stuff. Huh? Listen. Wow. How exciting. It's great, Leo. Hey, we could make our own band. Scoop and the Machine. That's a silly name. And anyway, we're supposed to be tidying up. And we will, Lofty, we will. After we've made some music. As my old dear granny always used to say, a band can't play on an empty stomach. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Leo? What? Hello? Is that you, Bob? Can you hear me? What's all that noise? Pardon? 
Sorry, Bob. It's a bit noisy. Keep it down, guys. <laughs> this is so much fun. Leo, are you all right? What on earth's going on? Leo! Hmm. What's up, Bob? Oh, wish I knew. Sorry, everyone. I need to pop back to the yard. Won't be long. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 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 I flattened all the instruments and ruined the concert. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. All those lovely instruments and Bob's saxophone. He's going to be so mad at me. Everyone's going to be mad at me. Sorry, Bob. We were just, um, making music. Hmm. Looks like fun. Huh? Right. <laughs> Time for one more rehearsal. No! Oh! My clarinet! My trumpet! My goodness! We can't play these. Oh, the concert! All oh, the people! Mayor Madison! Oh! Who could have done such a thing? I think I saw Rowley lurking about earlier. Mr. Bentley! Rolly's done what? Rolly crushed my tuba! Oh dear! I'm so sorry! The well, what's going on, Bob? Hours, yes, Bob. I the know the concert's in a few hours. hours. Don't panic. I'll think of something. Okay. There's been a little accident at the bandstand. It seems that Rolly has run over all the instruments and flattened them. That's oh, terrible. terrible. So where's Rolly now? And what's going to happen then with the concert? I'll never ever be able to look Bob in the face again. Uh, Rolly? Huh? Bob? We were worried about you. Worried? I thought you'd all be angry. I just wanted to run away and hide. Oh, I was so looking forward to the concert. And now I've spoiled everything. I'm sure it was an accident, Rolly. It could have happened to anyone. Oh, if only we had some new instruments. Rolly! That's perfect! Is it? What? We have everything we need to make new instruments for the band. We do? Where? Back at the yard. Yes, of course we do. Okay, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know is that Bob said the concert is still going ahead. I do hope he can think of something. Oh no! Here comes Mayor Madison! Looking forward to the concert, Mr. Bentley! <laughs> but how can we have a concert when we don't have any instruments? Huh? What's going on, Bob? Did you buy us some new instruments? No, Henry! We made you some new instruments! And I'm so sorry about the old ones. Very unusual. Something a bit different. Uh. This is so awesome! This needs more maracas! Shake it! Shake it! Shake it! Shake it. 
blood, shake it, shake it, blood, shake it right, shake it up and down, shake it.